Hi everyone, this is Kyle from SC Hydro Gardener. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Dutch bucket. So, there's many variations on a Dutch bucket. Um, some people, they'll they use round buckets, square buckets. Um, a lot of people, they'll put a paint strainer in there with perlite. Personally, I don't like doing that. Because with the water running on the perlite, a lot of times you get an algae. Um, I like to minimize my light in my system as much as I can. So I go ahead with black buckets. Some people, they would just get a regular bucket and paint it black. You know, however you want to do it, it'll work. Um, personally, I like using an 8 inch net pot or a 6 inch net pot. This is a 6 inch. Um, you can buy it at your local hydroponic store or online. Uh, normally, I would go with a five gallon bucket. It's just what I've started with in my system. Uh, so I kind of wanted to keep it uniform. But I ordered some on Amazon, kept getting delayed, got delayed again. So I went ahead and canceled the order and just went down to my local hydroponic store here. But he had about three or four, but I needed eight. I'm adding eight more buckets to my system to make a total of 18. I got 10 in there now. So. Uh, I went ahead and bought these three gallon buckets. They'll work. In my five gallon buckets, I have my drain five inches from the bottom. And these, I'm doing two inches from the bottom. So I'm going to show you how I made this and what tools you need and how to do it. Alright, so starting off, you're going to need a bucket, square bucket, round bucket, five gallon, three gallon. So you need a bucket. Net pot, if you decide to go that route, you're going to need half inch PVC. I cut mine at eight inches. Um, just so, just where it sits in my greenhouse, eight inches will be fine. So, we're going to drill a hole two inches from the bottom. The pipe's going to go through a three quarter inch grommet. So the pipe will go through the grommet, through the bucket, and then we'll put the elbows on each side, just like that. So all the other tools you need, you need a drill, a one inch hole saw. You're gonna need PVC cutters, some elbows, a marker, and a tape measure. Like I said, I'm using half inch PVC three quarter inch grommet with a one inch hole saw. So I went ahead, I've already measured two inches from the top. So once you start your drill, get your bit started, and then throw this bad boy in reverse, just so, because if, if you keep going forward, it's going to lock, these teeth are going to grab, and it's going to try to rip your arm off, your hole's going to be ugly. Um, I would also recommend to get a little piece of sandpaper, so after you Drill the hole, you can kind of get little burrs and stuff off of it. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to drill this hole. Like I said, it's two inches from the bottom. I'm going to start it in forward, and then once it catches, I'm going to throw it in reverse. Just cut it down to slow, you ain't got to push it down super hard. Just let it punch. Take your sandpaper, just kind of go in there and clean that edge up a little bit so it's not, so that grommet will seal a little better. Or if you got a little bit extra, you can take a little knife. There we go. Once you got your hole cut, take your three quarter inch grommet, just stick it in that hole, and it's got a little recessed area where the bucket will sit down in there nice and tight. Alright, once I got my hole drilled, I 
got my grommet in there, I'll take my half inch pipe. I'll hold the inside or the back side of the grommet while I push the pipe through. And as I push the pipe, I'm going to kind of twist it and turn it in there. You know, you can use a little, little uh, vegetable oil or something, you know, something of that sort if you need to. Take your two elbows, one will be on the inside of the bucket facing down, the other will be on the outside of the bucket facing down. Well, I like to have the one on the inside directly in the center of that little, you got like a little round spot in the bottom of the bucket there. I'll just try to center up this, okay? Now, all I have to do is take it out to the greenhouse. Drill my hole where my drain is going to go on my return pot and put another little piece of half inch here so it will drain down. Put the net pot on there. Stick my rock roll, my seedling, or transplant, or however you want to do it down in the bucket. Um, so the water feeding in, like I said, I don't, personally, I don't feed in through the top, just through the hole, the hole here. Um, I actually feed in through the front side here. So uh, I'm going to take I got a quarter inch drill bit because all my feeding tubes they're all half inch. This is what I use to to feed my buckets. Uh, coming out of my pump, I got it in a closed system. It's half inch. You got a female uh, adapter, and then you got a male adapter. One screws on the female screws on this one, the male screws on the other, and the center here is just a uh, some adapter for quarter inch. It's a, like irrigation adapter. You can find them at Lowe's, Home Depot, hardware store. Um, so I have I use a thicker quarter inch tubing that goes on there, and then it'll feed up through the hole that I'm going to put here, which will feed right here on my medium. Um, in, in between the bottom of the net pot and the water, you know, you're gonna, what, five, four, four and a half, five inches of air. And you know, you'll always have water down here in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this drill bit and just, just right up above, I'm doing this little lip, this little lip here. I'll put just a little hole right there. So your quarter inch tube can feed right in there. You want that up just a little bit more. So the comes off of here, comes off here and it feeds up, feeds right into my bucket. Um, if you have any questions about how I made it, what I used, uh, I'll try to put the link of these down in the description um, along with some of this other stuff. Um, but if you have any questions, Put them in the comments down below. You know, whether you like the video, don't like the video, or what I can improve upon. If you have better ideas, I'd love to hear them. Uh, but I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.